I was listening sort of half asleep, and then the sounds got really, really louder, and then it sounded more like exploding breaking glass, and then all of a sudden a woman started screaming, like obviously in a horrendous fear. Sean Mollett was awoken by the sound of bursting glass on Friday morning. He lives near the old Montreal building that was engulfed in flames. He saw and heard a woman on the fire escape screaming for her life. The professional photographer was shaken by the events and grabbed his camera to document what was happening, but he's not sure if the woman was among the survivors of the fire. I get up to my roof and I'm looking straight into the building and there's this woman on the fire escape and I can see her arms waving and she's screaming and then, the, then this huge puff of black smoke sort of covers everything and I see flames looking up from, from the bottom and I'm just completely blown away and I was like, I wasn't really dressed so I went inside to put a coat on and grab my phone and when I got back out, she was like gone. I mean, the, the flames had just in that short period of time, the flames had, had just grown and, the, and then the whole thing just got consumed. He credits the firefighters and police for their actions amid the fire. The firemen, I mean, what a job. They've been there for like two days now, totally dedicated, and there are like, there must have been hundreds on the site. They were all working. They had like three, four cranes going at once, and, you know, I was taking a lot of pictures of them, how they were co coordinating their efforts, and, you know, it was an amazing uh, effort from, uh, from the fire department. In the old port of Montreal, Aaron Sees, City News.